So, Kukasim and the arc welding are done as a way of creating and testing a welding application well within Kukasim. That means that we can do an offline programming and testing of a program before downloading it to the robot in a graphical way. So this is an example here, which you see. And today we are actually going to do it live and not in a PowerPoint format. So we'll see how that goes, but hopefully I'll cope during the day. And in this case, you actually see a welding cell with two welding robots where, who uses the arc welding on Arctic basic. But before we start, some background and repetition about KUKASIM. KUKASIM is our digital twin tool or simulation tool, and it's so much more than just a robot simulation tool. It's actually a very powerful tool to use as for you as our customers, both through your sales process. You can reuse everything you have built in your CAD systems during your own designs. You can include the programming and testing of the program directly in KUKASIM. And with that, I mean not only the robot programs, but also how include the PLC and HM, an external HMI, if you have such, directly into that model and see how that interacts with another. It's a very useful project uh, tool in ways of communication, both internally in your project teams or with your customers to avoid misunderstandings. And later on, you can even use it to educate and train your customers in this environment. So it's really a tool which benefits everyone during the whole automation project. And since this summer, 2021, we have a new version of KUKASIM, which is called KUKASIM 4.0. And there is a webinar on our YouTube page describing what's new in that in more detail. But a short summary is that the, one of the main features is that there is a complete new KRL editor and interpreter inside. In the older version of KUKASIM, we could not write true KUKA robot language directly in KUKASIM, which was, of course, a little bit of a drawback for us. Uh, this is now fixed, so we can now do offline programming directly within KUKASIM, take the true KRL language and code we have written in KUKASIM and download it to the robot over Work Visual. We can export it as a complete new project to work visual. As you've understood, there is a new arc welding module, which also is a total new thing for KUKASIM, and that is the today's topic. There is a new connectivity module, which allows us to connect KUKASIM to PLCs and process behavior models, so we can simulate not only the robot, but the complete automation cell or automation line, including PLCs, drives, HMIs, whatever, to test and verify the whole solution you've built and not only the robot application. And there is a new modeling module for those of you who like to use KUKASIM and build up your own library of intelligent objects. There is a new modeling module for that. And equally important is the fact that there is also a new licensing model for KUKASIM. So instead of, and of course, a lot more minor news in it as well. If we actually look at the new licensing structure of KUKASIM. It's instead of you buying the license permanently and then pay, paying for upgrades, KUKASIM and the add-ons available are now available as an annual fee instead. 
this should keep your costs considerably down because this annual fee is roughly a tenth of the original cost of KUKASIM. So you see, you always need KUKASIM for the basic module, which is a list price of 1200 euros a year. And in this case, as we are talking about KUKIA SIM and the arc welding add-on, which is 960 euros, it should say, in per year. These are floating licenses. That means that you can have several instances of KUKIA SIM installed on several computers, but you are only allowed one simultaneous user. So, Instead of me showing a lot of PowerPoints today, I will now try to start KUKASIM and do a small welding application directly for you. So let's see if I can share my screen for KUKASIM. I hope that you now see my KUKASIM screen. The first thing I need to do in KUKASIM is actually to make sure that the arc welding add-on is activated. This I do by going to files and options and go to the add-on tab. And here I can see that the arc welding on is enabled and that I have installed the Arctic basic cop file to cook as in. This enables the arc welding add-on with its command inside of KUKASIM. So with that done, we can go back and start our welding application. So as usual, I need a robot. So let's choose a robot here. And since we are doing a welding application, I will then take, in this case, I'm choosing a Cybertech arc welding with the hollow wrists. Yeah, I don't have to do that, of course, but since we are doing a welding application, I found it suitable. I'm today running KUKASIM on my standard office computer, so it's not as fast as we should wish. And nothing is as slow as a computer we're waiting for, but just give me a second and we should have the robot on screen. There we go. So now we have our robot and our screen. And of course, we also need a welding gun. So let's insert one of those. and snap it to the tools, to the robot. Now, we also, before we start, we need to adjust the welding gun so we get a tool center point out of the tip of the welding gun. To do that, I'm going to programming. I go into the jog menu. And I choose my tool data here and choose to configure that. Go to the tool properties and I'm now changing the tool data one. So let's zoom, zoom in a little bit more so we can get it a good picture of it. We take the tool center point and we just drag it to where we want it with the right, right direction. Not really there. Let's zoom in a little bit more because although it's the right tip now, the direction is a bit strange. So let's see if we can not get it a little bit better. Let's choose the view a little bit. Let's see if we... There we go. That looks better, doesn't it? A 
Let's double check that. It didn't go. I'm not sure if I got it the way I did, wanted it to be. No, if we zoom in, that looks nice. So, and while we're at it, why won't it just take and turn access, turn down access five like this and say that this is our starting post of the robot. To make things a little bit more interesting, I was thinking that we would also use a robot positioner for our welding piece. So let's just insert one of those. Place it where we need it. Uh, let's move it a little bit, something like this perhaps. And now, of course, we want the positioner be, to be controlled by the robot and the robot controller. So we just go and select our positioner and choose interfaces. And then we got the interface of the positioner and the controller, and we just join them together like this. They are now connected, and the controller of the robot will control the positioner. So if we've done this correctly, and we switch to programming mode again, and go to jog, we should see under the jog menu the two axes of the robot controller. If we select the robot and choose jog, we see now, yes, we have the two axes for the robot controller directly available here as well. Perfect. The next thing is that we actually want to tell Kukasim that we are going to do a welding application. And I can do that by actually going into the Home tab and choose a power source for my welding application. Because depending on what power source I have, I will also get the correct parameters related to those power sources. And you can see directly within KUKASIM, now that I have arc welding add-on installed, I have a wide range of power sources to choose from. And by choosing one of these power sources, I actually also change what parameters will be available within KUKASIM. So let's take just one, for example, this one. This will now activate my arc welding add-on within KUKASIM. I just press OK and it is now activated will activate the arc welding module with its arc welding functionality and it will even get give me some additional programming instructions inside of KUKASIM. This is going a lot slower while I'm running it on the webinar platform than it normally does. I do hope that the percentage indicator here is not representative of how long time this is going to take because then we're going to use up all our half hour. When I do it without running on the platform, this takes roughly a minute or one and a half minutes on my computer. And hopefully we are done with activating the arc welding add-on in KUKASIM right about now. So uh, we now also need a piece to weld. And um, we're going to place it on the positioner of the robot. So I will just first do something that would look like a
piece of welding table of, up on top of it. So we'll just use a rectangular block like this. Not quite that big. We'll do it 300 by 300 and 40 millimeters high. We will then just snap that to the surface of the turntable. We'll say that this is not an orange block like that. It's some kind of, let's say brushed aluminum in this case, for example, probably, but what the heck. And we will also say that this is actually attached to the turntable itself. We now need to do one more thing before we can start programming. And that is that we will tell Kukasim that our base of the tool for the robot and the welding is actually connected to the second axis of the turntable so that the robot and the turntable can work together. So let's go into base data under the jog menu. Select the base data we are use, want to use. Choose configure and tell us that we want to use the node and the second link. Now the tool is actually connected to the base and the base is connected to the turntable. And this looks a little bit strange. Let's see if we can't, it hasn't really centered quite. So let's just see if we can realign it a bit like so. That looks better. And now we want something to weld as, as well. And like any good TV chef, I have a welding object, which I want to do a welding on. I'm gonna turn this around a little bit. And I will now snap this piece to my work table like this. And I will also attach it to that piece. Now we're actually ready to start our, to create our welding program. So I go to the programming tab of Kokasim, select. Once there, I will select my robot. And here we see the new programming editor of Kukasim. I'll just delete one I got here and select this pose. And now in Kukasim, we can see I actually have some new instructions. within Kukasim, and let's, it's a bit slow, which is an arc welding instruction. So I'll just choose that program instruction, and that will give me a set of program instructions for my welding application directly in the program. If I have done this correctly, let's see, it is working. This is much, much slower. Here we go. And we can now see, if I move the robots a little bit over here, we can nail this open. And you see, I now have a arc welding instruction with an approach vector and a seam path and a depart. And now I actually have a dialogue here, which says select curve. So I can now actually, 
If I zoom in, the, in to cook a same a little bit to get a better view. I can now actually select the curve and we will see directly how the tool is posed. And if you see on the right hand side, I also have an expert view of this because we see now that the tool is coming in at a little bit different difficult angle and that is because we have a bit of a strange approach axis so let's change the approach axis a little bit the approach axis will be a positive y axis now you see the angle of the tool is already changed and the secondary axis would be a let's go to a negative y selection for example and let's select that curve we were at again. Something like that. Just click the mouse button to lock it. And we now press the generate button. What now happens is that QCSM is actually calculating the path that well, is needed for this, both in terms of approach movement and for the welding itself with the arc on command and a departure. So let's test this program a little bit now. And now we then need to back and of course, as you are used to, we have to generate the machine data together with, a, with, with the positioner, which now will normally this takes a minute or so. Uh, being on the platform with you, I expect it to take a few times. Uh, and uh, in the meantime, I will answer a question we have. And the question is, let's see, I have to expand this window a little bit. And it's Anders Nielsen who asks, I don't have access to the shown component. Which additional download do I need? Uh, Anders, I'm not quite sure which you mean. Do you mean the component in the Koka Sim? Do you mean the arc welding add-on? Or could you em emphasize or clarify your question a little bit? Now, the path command we used in CoCASIM here to generate automatically generate a path. In this case, we have been using it in a arc welding sense. But actually, the arc welding add-on gives us a standard path command to without arc welding to use in our programs as well, which we can find here. That means that I can use the path command to generate a curve on a surface or an edge of an object for other types of application. For example, if I'm doing glue dispensing or something like this, I can use that path command directly in my program. Now the machine data is generated, so let's just test run it to see if we have been successful in our programming. So we see the robot has now gone into the first position and it's now starting to weld and will follow the path here on the line which we have applied to it. The weld is finished and it will now follow the departure curve which we programmed, automatically generated. That actually looked quite fine. Uh, 
the nice thing about this is if I back off this pulse of the simulation, you see it's not really generated a path, it's generated a number of points. I can now select these points one by one if I like, and in the real world do touch up of the positions of the robot, which is of course very useful because the real world will not probably be exactly the same as it is in the digital model. And when we look at the, for example, the arc on weld, we then get under statement properties, the parameters or that weld command. And the parameters here, which are displayed are a bit depending on what power source we actually chose before. And if we scroll this down, we see here, for example, the pure welding parameters. Now I'm not really an experienced welder, so the meaning of this, all these parameters are not something that I dare to go into discussion or explain about. But for example, we can also select a weaving pattern when we do the weld if we like here. We can use if this is a pulse or a standard, since this is a power source that chooses possible to do pulse welding with. So as you see, it's quite easy to do a first welding program directly within KUKASIM. If I now want to download this to my robot, I can actually go to home and there choose export and actually generate a complete work visual project directly from within KUKASIM. Download it to the robot and test it. Let's just leave the Kuka Sim environment for the time being and go back because we are closing to the end of our presentation. Here is the more advanced example we have done. Before I end, I want to point out that this webinar and the rest of our webinars we've done will be available on our Nordic, Kuka Nordic YouTube channel. And before we leave, let's see if we got some more questions. Uh, ah, Anders Nilsson says that he has enabled the arc welding add-on, and but I don't find the power sources and is not able to activate the arc welding add-on in the sim. And that is because you miss one thing as you suspected. We also need to install the COP file under KUKA SIM. Let's see if I can demonstrate that. I'll just shortly go back to KUKA SIM, go to the home tab or file. And under options and on add on where we were before, you have activated arc welding here, but then under KUKA option package, we also need to manage our option package. And here is where you use to install the COP file of arc welding, arc tech basic. So you just push the plus sign, and then you can choose a COP file, and arc tech basic is a COP file, which you normally install to your robot controller or work visual. You can also now install it to Kuka Sim and it will be installed. And that you have not done that in your application and that's why you don't see the arc welding uh, components in Kuka Sim. And Yari asks how to import the actual weld 
welding piece, DFX file to KUKASIM? Yes, uh, actually KUKASIM can import basically any CAD format. So we just choose under import. And as you see here, I can generate, I can import basically any type of CAD file directly to KUKASIM. And in my case, with my welding piece, I actually imported a step file. What I do need on the file then, when I select the pieces welding is some kind of an edge to follow. In this case, I chose this edge, but it could be the outer edge or the upper edge or whatever, depending on what I select when I do the path command then. So with that, we are actually nearing the end of today's webinar. We had a few questions. I hope I was able to answer them in a proper way. And if there are no further questions, I'd like to thank you for your attention. Industrial Intelligence.